Hello, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Welcome back, or welcome to some Starcom Nexus. Um, I, uh, watching YouTube and doing different things, uh, I ran into a game called Starcom Unknown Space that's due out December 14th. Um, and in the process of trying to get uh, information about it and stuff like that, I found out that there was a previous game to it that I hadn't played and I really wanted to play it. Um, all right, so we're going to rename this Plum Yeti. Yeah, we're going to name the vessel the Plum Yeti. Or maybe just the Yeti. Why not? Um, so we're going to leave everything else pretty much default. Uh, I kind of went down a rabbit hole with this game. Uh, I had some some stuff that kind of happened in my life uh, over the last week. Uh, it, it caused me to kind of uh, uh, bury myself a little bit. Uh, and uh, that in and of itself isn't a, a bad thing. All right, so finally, com uh, command of your own ship, a Plum Yeti. I guess uh, really more of a shuttle, but I guess started station. Uh, tell you at least technically a starship. Okay, station isn't glamorous putting Starcom, but like I said, we all start somewhere. Yes, sir. What's my first mission? I think my assignment roster calls it delivery, but sure, we'll call it a mission if you like. Uh, deliver, uh, hold kite station, placement of purification system. All right, so we're going to kite station. All right, so we're going to do that. So that's fine. Uh, we're going to go to Kite Station. Uh, let me... So uh, this is all driven by WSAD. So we, you know, right, left, uh, have a little bit of firing. So uh, I, I've been playing a lot of um, Cosmo Tier and other uh, Bolt Heaven type games and stuff like that recently. And in the, the grand scheme of those things, uh, like I, th this is a game that I, I'm, I'm kind of surprised I haven't played. Uh, I don't remember if I played the first one or not. Um, I, I don't, this game wasn't even on my radar for some reason. I, I, I've got no answers to it. Um, but if this game isn't on your radar and you're playing Bullet Heavens, you're playing games like FPL and, um, you know, Cosmeteer and, and you're wanting games like that to come out and, and play and you like being able to design your own ship and, and, you know, explore and stuff like that, uh, really really something to come check out where am i supposed to be going okay uh so this is all real time stuff read strange reading from the sensor oh it's good let's go fly into that i don't think i don't yep i can't oh good oh you you they want me to fly into it okay that makes sense i was like i don't want to go to that i'm in a little bit of space shuttle good let's go fly into it see what happens Sure, it's an alarm, but uh, 50 warning lights I just slipped on my console. Also, something seemed to be pulling us through that. Oh, well, that, that's gone well. Part of my language, Commander. We've uh, damage reports come from all sector instruments are offline, damage control teams are scrambling. We can't have that many systems. We're, we've got like three pieces of a ship. Solve our position. Long way from home. All right, good. Makes sense. All right, so we're uh, we'll go drive around here for a little bit. Our class planet. <laughs> All right, so if you guys don't know, basically what happens is you get pulled to a rift. Uh, intruder, uh, she tick, girl space, identify yourself immediately or be destroyed. I am Plum Yeti, a human representative of Starcom. We are on an organization of peaceful exploration. Just uh, destroyed, and here you are, under that the ship. In our territory, explain this. Hey, we'll be honest with them. That's incredible. Do you believe us? Translator seems to be having some issues. Language says incredible not uh, mean not credible. 
uh, not exactly means amazing or fantastic. I think you're telling your language is de deceptive as the speakers. Uh, agents have uh, sure disable your weapon system and wait for poor sleep. Incredibly peaceful response. <laughs> uh, please, no, don't shoot at me. I want to be friends. Can, why, I want to be friends. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Nope, can't be friends. All right, we're, we're fine with it. <laughs> so, uh, it, it's uh, basically... Uh, with all the bullet heaven stuff and things like that, uh, there's a lot of updates and stuff that the developer is making for the, the next game. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I've got some information, or my uh, request into the beta. I'm hoping um, to be able to see, uh, to, to get that as soon as I can, start making videos of it. I, I've really been enjoying this game, so... Uh, Station Commander. Okay, let's see. Oh, she got it. Uh, detected a Star Cup vessel. I was hoping Captain Lee, no offense, but the best is a warship. Uh, space docked at station. Whatever's happened, looks like the starship got here. Ready for anything. Battle cruiser, but we have some crank of ancient pottery. Uh, we could trade places with a prison team, I would. Hey, hey, I got some pottery for you. Some damage party required with uh, mining resources we need for repair. Speaking of rift, what the hell was that? Uh, basically, it's them trying to figure out somehow the station got pulled through too. Right? And you'll find out as you kind of go through the story, there's a lot more stuff uh, involved and, and things. And uh, the cool part about this is there is a lot of, of other things to visit and stuff like that. Uh, based on an initial encounter, it's called Tetric and Unfriendly Territory. More resources, a lot of technical guys trying to find the galaxy. And it's terrible. We got a little star ship at yours, and it's terrible. Thanks! Uh, authorized to put in middle of the Use repairs to upgrade your ship. Alright. Excellent. Alright, so let's go ahead and go to the shipyard. We need to add... Uh, we're going to go ahead and get rid of this guy. I want to put my surveyor module in. Because you have to have a surveyor module. They won't let you leave. See if we can get some get some guns going here. We've only got eight models total that we can use. Alright, so... Uh, basically, you can move things around. Anywhere you're, you have a hex, you can put stuff... Uh, and then kind of make and design your own ship as you want to. Uh, so I do like that that ability to be able to do that stuff. Uh, you have to have a, a surveyor module to be able to leave. They won't let you leave without one. It's kind of a jerk move if you ask me. But uh, effective to take damage, right? All right, good. Thanks. I I got you. We're, we're good. I'm going to go shoot stuff now. Is that, is that okay? Can I do that? All right. So, we got to go scan things. Now, you see, now we have three three shooty boys. Go up here. We'll scan. No surface anomalies. Uh, it does have a whole research screen uh, and section. So, if you want to try, I'm, I'll try to get into some of that. Uh, unfortunately, there is no way to kind of speed up time. Go survey again. We'll send out our little survey. Oh, we're going to abandon research lab. Upper levels of the research. Since you exposure to the elements of the ground facility, the team finds appears to be an uh, uh, intact AI core. They can restart the core to cut out the memory banks price extracting data. So we can either restart the AI core or better not risk the uh, activated hospital AI, right? Uh, I'm going to reboot the core because I'm crazy. Uh, technician used uh, Lander's computer to bootstrap the AI core while the universal translator seems to translate 
what it says apparently corrupted repeats eyes locked stop any key return uh the technician is still able to extract a large amount of useful data from the cores the eye is uh the team is also able to establish some useful materials from the equipment all right so we have some some equipment or some uh resources All right, let's go find the last planet here. I do not know what happens if you fly into the sun. I have thus far uh, skipped doing that. Try to uh, not fly into the suns. It tends to be bad for the paint job. So if you guys do want to see more of this, uh, do me a favor, go ahead and hit hit the, the buttons down below. Uh, I, uh, I I want to try to get some some kind of played into this one. I'm having a lot of fun with this game, and uh, I really wanted to just get the information out so that if somebody else didn't know about this game for some reason, uh, you found my channel but you haven't found this game. I wanted people to uh, to have a chance to be able to see it. All right. This time, head back to the station. Oh, back here. I would you stop? I don't like it. Okay. Again, do you activate your weapon system while we attempt to verify your claims? My weapon system seemed to be deactivated. Like, I don't understand. Oh, my energy is just destroyed. Why? Do, oh, did I not put a reactor on here? I'm an idiot. I'm going to get blowed up because I'm an idiot. Probably got some set up so that I can't uh <laughs> can't die this early. I didn't put a reactor on my ship. Got all these guns and no reactor. Aha, sucker fishes. You didn't know I had friends. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, the band lab station once suggested there are several uh, solos here since the roof, but besides the uh, uh, some of them are less hostile. And two, it seems like you found Tracer Cove with research data. Hey! Yay, and the bad news. Lost. Oh, good. We, we don't know how to build anything. All right, so let's go into research. It's the research lab. Uh, Please wisely, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Triple thrusters. All right. So this is uh, basically all the different things that we can do. Uh, so you have basic propulsion. You have improved engines, right? So we only have 150 points. Um, I do like the idea of having, uh, I, I, I like being able to defend myself, uh, having, having a good amount of guns, uh, and things to, uh, make people not want to, uh, make them not want to shoot me. Uh, I, I'm good with, uh, so let's do a reactor. Can only do one reactor. Of course I can. Why why would I why would I think I could do two? Um do a reactor, let's do a survey module. There, let's do that. Now we at least have a reactor. Uh 
Back to the command. Okay. Warp Nexus in the sector. Definitely wasn't there when we arrived. Yay, Warp Nexus. All right. Take our ship into it. All right, good. All right, so the way this works is then we'll bounce out here. So we have this little purple guy down here. Now we can actually uh, charge our ship while we uh, uh, put around. Uh, we may actually even be able to fire for a little while without, uh, <laughs> without killing all of our power. The way these work is if we go onto the map here, you'll see like probably go over here. Yep, there we go. To, to the next one. And then once we get close enough, we'll start seeing that there's a... Uh... Oh, there's more dudes. Yeah, I'm 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 ready for you this time. I got the power. Nope. Look, dude, I, I'm trying to be nice, but if you guys are gonna shoot at me, I'm gonna shoot back. Just just so we're clear. I don't like being shot at, and I will shoot back. <laughs> so it is a lot of ex exploration. It's trying to figure out what's going on, where you are, uh, things like that. Uh, no surface anomalies there. It is a lot of exploring, uh, a lot of collecting resources. Uh, it reminds me of, you know, old games like Star Control and, and things like that. Uh, and you run into larger and larger uh, uh, enemies and, you know, like these, these are just a scout, so it's not that big of a deal. Eventually, we'll start running into carriers and all kinds of crazy stuff. Okay, look, dude. Look, there's there's loot over here. I, I need to get, and you're you're just being a jerk about it. You know, maybe if you guys weren't so angry, y'all'd have more friends. Uh, you'll see these little little bits here that pop out. Uh, you have a tractor beam, uh, and you need the resources in order to upgrade your ship, uh, and eventually your station and research things and all kinds of stuff. So. It's like collecting resources and just doing general things like that. And then trying to, uh, but there are some, uh, also some things where you kind of have to roll the dice, right? Uh, usual density readings around these guys, apparent, uh, abandoned military fortress, uh, scans detect a faint energy source coming from within, right? Uh, so we can either try to force our way in or it's too risky and we return the ship for now. Oh, at it, this early in the game, uh, we're rolling the dice. Oh, we lost a dude. Uh, no longer manned, but uh, activated a number of automated defense drones, which opened fire. The drones are apparently kept on uh, Raiders at Bay, Fortress storerooms, or a large amount of military uh, equipment. Equipment was antique fire standards, but recycled and useful mineral resources. So we got a bunch more resources. Resources are very helpful. Uh, fewer hands, deck repairs will go slower. Next time you visit Kite Station, she has commander for more replacements. Okay, so we're down to 14, 14 uh, people on board. And there's ways in the in the later to add more people. Uh, obviously, when we get back to the station, we can request for uh, for replacements. And they'll, they'll uh, give us more people for our crew. Evidently, the space station's got an unlimited amount of people. It's great like that. And there's all kinds of different weapons in the game too. Uh, there's missiles and drones and uh, lasers and all kinds of crazy stuff. All right, more research points. I like it. <laughs> Try to get up here real quick, get back down to the, the uh, base. Uh, I got a little bit of time. Maybe we'll maybe we'll jump to the next warp warp uh, area and see where it takes us to. It's like I said, it's all about exploring. Uh, the map is fairly large. You see, like, this is the area where we've been so far. Uh, 
Good morning here for now. Okay. Let me go back to here. You can see like this is, you can kind of see, it's really hard to see. As, I don't know if I'll show up on screen or not, but there's an edge here and here, and that's kind of the edge of the map. This is, uh, spoilers. I know it's a bigger dude. Nope, I don't like it. And it doesn't matter like which direction you're firing, the the weapons will fire wherever your mouth is pointed. Uh, so even if you want, oh, because now we're out of we're out of power. Why are you running from me? Oh, that's why. <laughs> so you see it, it fires pretty much wherever you want. Uh, so even if something gets behind you, you can still fire at it. The only things that really uh, later you'll get, get, get guns that only fire forward. Oh, this is, this is, this is, this is bad. Wow, you guys need better stations. No, you seriously need better stations. Like, this, this is ridiculous. Sorry. That's probably going to upset him. <laughs> oh. And then uh, eventually you'll run into some uh, planets too where you can just uh, do several of them. Uh, small iron. Plus for rocket island. Surface scans. I started some more time. Parch pad is current. Oh uh, yeah, let's get back to the. Let's, let's do that. No, let's talk to the player. Okay, boy, sisters, girl. All right, I'll let you guys go on to kind of redo that. I, there is a lot of of story and a lot of a lot of reading of the game. Um, it's no no voice acting. Um, let me go select the red guy over here do the last planet and then uh, if that's the case we'll we'll head back to base here real quick uh, see if we can do some research uh, th there's a lot of things to uncover a lot of things to define and it's a it's a fairly deep game um i put i don't know i'm just taking my time and enjoying it and just uh playing around and just exploring the universe and and just enjoying the game and enjoying the journey uh and i put like probably you know 11 you know to 12 hours before i i even realized what was going on like it's I don't think I can. Well, well, I guess uh, I guess we're going this way today, guys. <laughs> I don't even have enough power to get away from that thing. That's funny. All right, we'll go back to go back to the, the station now. So, like I said, uh, for the most part, this is uh, Starcom Nexus. Uh, Starcom Unknown Space comes out December fourteenth. Uh, and I 
plan on picking that up as soon as I can and uh, putting information out about it uh, and as, as much information as I can about the game. Uh, it's another indie dev, you know, small, small group. I, I think it may even be a single person um, that's making the game. So anything I can do to, to, to help a, an indie dev like that, I'm all for it. Uh, so it's, uh, it's a no brainer for me. It's, it's a good game and the indie dev, like what's not to, to try to support. So we will be doing that. Go ahead and get back to our base. We need more, more engines, damn it. I need a lot of things, actually. That. And you have to watch out for the station. The station will, will whack you. Like, if you get too close to it, it, it will, it will reach out and touch you. All right. So let's go ahead. We have 240 points now. Uh, Turbo Thrush probably isn't a bad idea. We'll get a little bit more speed. We'll get some improved engines. Uh, gravitational gliding I'm, gliding, I'm not super worried about right now. Reactor output optimization probably wouldn't be a bad plan. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Do we have anything that we can... Uh, we can make another surveyor module. That's not helpful at all. All right. So, but with that, uh, I will leave you guys with this. Uh, this is our current ship. Uh, and if you guys haven't checked this game out, there will be a link down in the description. Please go check it out. Uh, if you have played this game and you're looking forward to uh, Starcom Unknown Space, uh, go wishlist it on Steam. Uh, show the developer some love. And then uh, with all that, if you guys do, do enjoy it or you want to see some more of this, uh, you know which buttons to press. And then uh, we will see you guys tomorrow.